Prepping for Thanksgiving can be stressful, but it doesn't have to be. Chef Gigi is back in our kitchen with some tips for the big day. Come on over here, Chef Gigi. What do you have? What do you have for us today? Well, um, because Thanksgiving is so stressful, Aubrey, I wanted to show your viewers some tips on how to make their life easier pre-Thanksgiving and then what to do after post-Thanksgiving. Oh my goodness. When we talk about the holidays being a stressful, busy time, it really kicks off yes. with the Thanksgiving dinner. Why do you think it is so stressful for people? Well, there's a lot to do. And I think that people feel expectation, right? And you know, let me tell you, I'm a professional chef for years and I feel pressure. So I can't imagine how people at home are feeling. So that's why I always wanna come up with some hints and some tips so you can actually enjoy the people that you invite over your house instead of being stuck in the kitchen all the time. Well, I feel like it's Thanksgiving already because look at this gorgeous spread you have over here. Right. Now, even if someone loves being in the kitchen, and like you said, you, you've been a uh, chef for several years, yes. but they can still get overwhelmed. Yes, it's crazy. So what I like to do is I like to start a couple weeks in advance, if you can believe that. So a lot of people will be like, how can I make things a couple weeks in advance and then the day of? So I have some tricks. So here is some um, some cranberry sauce. It's cranberry pear compote. It's so delicious. And I made this one with a little bit of orange juice and some zest and some pumpkin pie spices. So and that's you something get, you can do ahead of time. Yes, you can make this two weeks ahead of time. And then day of, you can make these, or the night before, you can make these. Yeah, I'll just whip that up. Salads. <laughs> you know, really, it's so easy. All you do is make these little bundles and you just put them in a tomato and then drizzle um, garnish around it. So this is what I do on the day, preset my table. So I also have an added tablescape. So it takes away some of the decoration from me. Okay. And then also my guests have the first course already set so I don't have to do anything, right? Well, this is a very fancy Thanksgiving over here, Chef Gigi. <laughs> is it? It looks beautiful. It looks beautiful. It looks ready to eat. All right, so you're warming this burner up because we're going to be making something. What are we making right. and why are we making it? Okay, well, I also want to tell you, you can make gravy a couple weeks in advance. So the first thing you do is a lot of people like to use the drippings. You can use the drippings from your turkey at the end to add to add oh, more okay. gravy Oh, okay, so you flavor. can get started. You don't have to wait till that turkey's done to right. do the gravy. I mean, that's too hectic for everybody, right? Mm -hmm. So what we're going to do is we're going to use equal parts of fat and flour to make a roux. So I'm going to have you start out okay so I want you I'll to hold the whisk I can do yeah. that so I'm gonna use duck fat okay so I'm gonna add some duck fat because I just love the fat love the fat yeah what else are we putting in there and then I'm gonna add flour so this is gonna be the thickener so we want equal parts so you're gonna go ahead and just mix that up okay and we're mixing yep and we're gonna brown it okay so this is called a roux this is the roux so we get the roux going mm-hmm and if the roux is light, that means your, your gravy's gonna be light at the end. Okay. Okay? So just keep going and mix Doing that up. that roux. Yeah, and then while we get that mixed up really good, all of it incorporated. I'm, I'm incorporating, Gigi. <laughs> then I'm gonna slowly see how it's coming together like a paste. Mm -hmm. Smelling delicious. Right, wait till the spices get in there. Okay. Okay, and you can do this. I made um, homemade chicken stock. You can go ahead and um, use wings. Okay, let's and get that chicken stock yeah. going. Ready? And then so we gotta go fast now. Yes. We don't want it to clump up. So you just keep going and going and going and get all the lumps out. So what we're gonna do later on with this stock um, I mean, with the gravy, is that we're gonna talk about leftovers after. All right, well, I'm gonna keep mixing this and we are coming back to Chef Gigi to see how this turns out and some what we're gonna do with those leftovers. We'll be talking about that in a little exactly. bit. Exactly. So and yeah. wow, I did such a good job. You this did. Looks awesome. This looks <laughs> awesome. And you said we were doing the gravy because we were talking about things you can do now, pretty much right, ahead, ahead of time. time. So you're saying do the gravy, you can add the right. drippings in later. later. Right. Okay, because awesome. The whole point is that you don't want to be stuck in the kitchen the whole time when your guests are at your home visiting, right? Right. So one thing's important too is that the sous vide machine right yeah, here. Yeah, you were saying that can really right? make things a lot easier. Right, you can prepare everything ahead of time that needs to be warm and get a container big enough for all the sides that you have. Stick them in here in the immersion water and keep them warm. And then when it's time for service, just take everything out. Well, put... what's great about the sous vide, the Anova, is because right? it really makes you seem like you're kind of gourmet chef. <laughs> right. This is what they use at a lot of restaurants. Yeah, well, well this, is, um, this is technology that has been forever. <laughs> 
<laughs> for years since the 50s 40s and 50s so this is new actually and, you, and then you just pop it out and it's like look what i made yeah it's, it's sous vide it's, quality it's, it's a lifesaver but <laughs> one thing's important too is the after the meal right right so what do you do i always like to make extra yes, because leftovers. everybody loves leftovers right well so, i don't know if they love them but we try to figure out what to do with them then we'll love them exactly so well over here we have i like to call a faux a faux pho, I right? like it. Okay, okay so, so it's that's... a riff off of the Vietnamese noodle soup, mm -hmm. and it has, of course, rice noodles. Okay. And we're using turkey, and then all the, uh, you know, added accoutrements that you like. That seems so easy, and I wouldn't have even thought of it. Right, and it's something different. And then um, over here is a tamale pie up in the tamale front. Tamale pie. It, mm. it, this is the... Um, what are we looking this at right here? This is a turkey pot pie. Turkey pot pie. And then the tamale pie. Dough. And then the tamale pie is down in the front. And that is kind of a riff on a like a, a Mexican enchilada casserole. So I would never even think that those were leftovers. Right? So that way you can get, because we're all going to be tired of eating all this rich food. Okay, right? Chef Gigi, I heard you have a funny story about Thanksgiving. Oh, well, <laughs> I have lots of funny stories. But <laughs> you know what the best part about Thanksgiving is for my family is not so much sitting in the kitchen and eating, but what we do is we go on a treasure hunt. We divide ourselves into groups and we go on a treasure hunt outside of the house. And it kind of, I started to do that because I needed a little bit of space. Like decompress. Yeah, decompress time so that the kids would be out running mm -hmm. around. And so each group is assigned an adult and all the kids go. And then before a time, I give them um, things to, you know, like they have to come back with a photograph. Sometimes we have a card and then you have to go to knock to a neighbor's house and get their them to sign the card. It's really a lot of fun. And that's what holiday is all about, right? Is bringing everybody together. <laughs> well, that sounds like a good way to kind of burn off some calories after you've been sitting on the couch or whatever <laughs> right. from the table. And all Lots of fun ideas for Thanksgiving, whether it's in the kitchen or out of the kitchen. You also have your book um, if people want yes. ideas on getting the kids to eat. I mean, my yes. kids eat the Thanksgiving food, but sometimes, you know, eating can be yeah. a challenge. Sometimes if you bring them in the kitchen, you know, and like, for instance, cooking this. So we've you've made the gravy already. And then I'm going to have you go ahead and assemble this um, turkey pot pie. Okay, what do I do? So just go ahead and put peas and carrots peas down and in the carrots. bottom. Here we go. Right? Mm -hmm. And we're going to spread that around. Then you're going to add the leftover turkey that you have. Okay, we're doing leftovers. It hasn't even Thanksgiving's not yeah, even here yet. Yeah, mix that Keep up. Keep this in Get mind, all folks. Around. And then sometimes I cut up some cubes of... Um, Potatoes. Potato, and then I just take Oops, the gravy piece of chicken. and I pour the gravy on top. Okay, let's pour it. Yep. Chef Gigi makes it look so easy. Chef, where can we go for um, all this information and if they want recipes? Well, all the recipes are on my blog. You could Google Chef Gigi and then I pop up, really. Yes. It's, it, it makes things a lot easier. And then you just go ahead and you top that with a little bit of phyllo dough. Phyllo dough, we have that right here. Yeah. Oh, and this is that. That's the yes. finished product. Okay. And then, so I bunch it up, and I take a lot out and just crumble it up. Crumble it, it up. Look at that. It's beautiful. Oh, this is awesome, Chef right? Gigi. Thank you so much. You're welcome. I'm ready for Thanksgiving now. I am too. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for being here this My Thursday. Pleasure. Tomorrow's Friday. We'll be Woo! right back here at 9 a.m. for more Your California Life. Bye, everybody. This interview involves commercial content. The products and services featured appear as paid advertising.